know that I was done, but just getting started, bitch. I'm far from finish. Gotta keep a rod up in the shot, and I ain't talking Dennis. And I'm asking by if anybody trying to. What's that word, YouTube? We back with another video, man. Right now, we got the top 50 Lil Woody YSL trial moments, man. I kind of been paying attention to this, but I haven't. I've been seeing some of the stuff he's been doing, but I ain't seen 50 moments. He got 50 moments already? Dang. Bro, I already got 50 moments. It's crazy, man. But we finna see what's going on. Make sure I hit that like button, subscribe button. If it's some more YSL Woody content, uh, let me know some of the comments. And I definitely tap in, man. And let's see, man. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Y'all be, uh, man, we gonna talk about it. We gonna talk about it. We gonna talk about it. Cut in my shoulders. Mm -mm. What is 372? Numbers. And does the 372 correspond to the letters of DRC on the phone pad? It could. <laughs> I don't, I don't, I gotta look at the phone pad. How do you look at the phone pad to tell? <laughs> you gotta be specific. Sure. Would the two of you go out? I go out with anybody, even you. I'm not asking about me. C4 Echo Hotel. <clears throat> and once again, Echo. Get back. <laughs> 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 Ain't no way he wildin' like that. Hold on. <laughs> Like this, I ain't see all this. I ain't see all this. I ain't gonna lie. Me. C4 Echo Hotel and once again, Echo. Get back. Get it. <laughs> 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 uh -uh. If he said I said it, I said it. Hey, and is that true or that not true that you left her home around five o'clock? Mm. If you know something about me, I don't keep up with the time or the days. I just go with the flow. Is it your desire to release your counsel at this point in time? She's fired. She's fired? Okay. How old are you? Grown. Okay, what does grown mean? I'm an adult. Okay. <laughs> I'm an adult. I'm an adult. <laughs> How old are you, grown? How old is grown? What does grown be? I'm an adult. How many years are you? I plead the fifth. Ladies and gentlemen, can I get you? Okay, but you were you had the beef with Kel. Why not say it was Kel? Because I had to convince them. I got it. I got it. I got to make it seem, if I say Kel shot me, they're going to, how you know? How I care know where you stay at? So I got I to gotta, I gotta come up with something to make them know, okay, well, Tay being over here, you know what I mean? So, I, okay, Tay, I, I don't know, like, but listen, the, you keep asking me. I told you, I don't know who shot at me. When's the first time that you recall meeting Young Thug? Uh, at the studio. They at court calling him Young Thug. Ain't bro named Jeffrey. They're not calling him Jeffrey in, in court, bro. And roughly, they in court what, about what thug. year are we talking about? Before I went to jail. Which time? <laughs> right. Roughly 14 years. You know. Well, I've been in jail most of that time, so. Did you all speak while you were in jail? A few times. So your friendship didn't stop once you just because you went to jail. What you mean? I said, I said, I said. Did your friendship stop just because you went to jail? Or who determined when a friendship start and stop? I'll ask you again. You can see his mind working overtime to find these answers too. 2015. Have you ever? He getting good. He's thinking so hard right now. I ain't gonna I'm lie. Tired. You and I both. While y'all were in school, did y'all develop a friendship? Nope. Okay. At some point in time, did you ever develop a friendship with Shannon? Yeah. Okay. When was that? Uh, I don't know when, but at one point we became cool. Okay. And when you say cool, what do you mean? C O O L. <laughs> <laughs> I had no idea he was wilding like this. I had no idea he was wilding like this.
right there. But I ain't know he was wilder like this. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't know he was wild like that. <laughs> she said back, cool. What do you mean? He says, C-O-O-L. <laughs> what you mean? So you say you don't remember telling him about what happened? At but if he said that I told him that, I'm telling you right now, I told him that. So can you start asking me what I supposed to told Detective Thorpe? Because I'm telling you now, if he said that I said anything about anything, I'm telling you, more likely I probably did. Great. Well, I'm going to ask you about all the things that you talked to Detective Thorpe about. Now, Ms. Coleman, do you have a nickname? You're smiling. Do you have? Do you have, ask me a question? Do you have a nickname? Yeah. What's your nickname? Psycho. Okay. You never met any of his family members? <laughs> I never met none of his family members. Okay. What about any of his girlfriends? What you mean? Have you ever met any of the people he ever dated? I don't know how he's seen them, but I've seen him with girls. Okay, so you met some of the people that he may or may not have dated. I guess. You said what now? Tell me who you recognize in 380 Yankee. Oh, me and Coco. Who's Coco? The ugly boy right here. Okay. <laughs> you want me to be honest with you? I, I think I just did. I just told you the God and the truth of what I did from January or uh, uh, from 2014 until 20, the 21. Every time they got me, I, they already know me. They already know I got a whole bunch of bullshit to say. I'm going to ask you to refrain from cursing. What? Oh, 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 sorry, everybody. No disrespect. Uh, I'm sorry about it. But. Overrule, oh, sir. Overrule, oh, sir. Why did you have the gun at Dunbar Recreation Center? I just pleaded guilty to it. Did you tell officers that you were trying to sell that gun? And that's why you had it. These are some smart asses. I ain't gonna lie. A lot of stuff I was seeing online was some stu He was saying some crazy stuff. He said certain stuff. I forgot exactly what he said, but he said stuff that was like, that's all they needed him to say. Even though he's saying good answers and all these, some of the stuff he said was just like, dang, bro. I ain't even gonna lie. At the Dunbar Recreation. It's right now. Again, yes, I was going to jail. Did he ever threaten you to give a name? Nah, but he kept asking me to make me say a name, and the, uh, you like how you keep asking me a question. I, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say something to, to answer you, so you can stop asking me the same question. <laughs> Why would I lie to convince them to not go to jail? Right. But they don't know that I'm lying. Well, they didn't let you go immediately, did they? Sometimes they let me go. Right. But so I, when the time they let me go, I thought I was smarter than them. Did the detective say that they had to fact check what you said before they let you go? Can you say that again? Sure. Did the detectives tell you that they had to fact check what you were telling them? And, and you know, in certain situations. Right. And so what benefit would it be to lie if they told you that they had to fact check it? Oh, it was no benefit because what they did was they picked and choose where they wanted to take from me. And they still left me in jail. So they came back and beat me in the butt. Okay. Do you not know anyone, or you, you can't see it? Why can't you? Objection, Your Honor. Ask one answer. Oh, sir. <laughs> Why can't you recognize this picture? What you mean? Do you not see? It? What do you mean when you say you don't know who? I can't recognize the picture. Do you see yourself in that picture? No. Do you not see yourself? Your picture blurred. <laughs> do you recall telling Detective Gaither in a little more detail? <laughs> that you walked up and you tried to dap up Kel, but he did not grab your hand. I'm not walking up down nobody up. Now, do you recall? Tell, do you recall <clears throat> independently that after Thug told Kel, "Beef ain't over with until you pay for my window," you shot my window. That you told Kel what you told Kel. Yes. What do you remember telling Kel? Yes. So you told Kel, yes? Yes. Yes. 
to work that your Instagram account back in 2015? My Instagram account is Woody vs. Woody. I asked back in From 2015. From back then, I think my Instagram account is the same account to, as it is today. Okay. Woody vs. Woody. Yeah. I'm not 100 percent sure. I listen. I don't did so much time away from society. You ask me about something. I I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how to answer these questions. I don't really. A lot of this stuff you talking about, like I don't. Nah, I've been through too much to be trying to remember certain stuff or. The questions you asking me, like you, you, you discombobulated me up here. <laughs> like, you want me to lie? You want me to tell the truth? One, I, I can't tell you the truth. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. If you sitting here, you want? I don't know. I don't know. I don't. I don't know what. I don't know how to answer these questions. You know what I mean, like, I don't know what y'all got going on. Like, for real. Like, you asked me about 2015. What somebody said to the investigators. You know how I many investigators try to question me about this? <laughs> yes, and we're going to talk about a few. Can you tell the jurors what occurred at the Dunbar Recreation Center? I was playing basketball. The police came and locked me up. And why did the police lock you up? Because I'm wounded. Did you have a gun at the Dunbar Recreation Center? I had a basketball in my hand. You said you consider yourself 372. <laughs> he what said was I had a basketball in my hand. It ain't for you to know. I'm going to ask you again, Mr. Copeland. What was 372? 372. Was that a game? What, you de- what do you define as a game? Mr. Copeland, I'll I, ask you a question. I can't question. answer your question if I don't know what you're talking about. Were you, was it you and a group of people a part of 372? And what's a group of people? Are you married? <laughs> nope. <laughs> <laughs> nope. Do you have children? I ain't gonna lie. Nah, Woody, Woody. This video got me thinking different. All right, Woody. I ain't gonna lie. You, I, 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 I understand now. You, you got, I ain't gonna lie. Woody know what he doing. He know what he doing. He know that. Okay. I do, but the jury doesn't. Do you have children? Yep. All right. How many? More than one. All right. <laughs> do you have more than three? I might. Ain't no telling. Okay. That's perfect. That's fair. Do you have two that you know of? Yeah. All right. And how old are your two children? The same age. What's that? I don't know. Y'all been having me in jail so long. I can't recall. Okay. <laughs> Were you in jail on Friday? Prior to? Yeah, I was in jail Friday. Were you in jail on Thursday? Thursday came yet. No, last Thursday. You <laughs> talking about Thursday ain't came yet. <laughs> I felt like it. What types of things would you do with tip? <laughs> what you mean? Did y'all go out? Did you go to shoot dice? Oh, what type of things would you do with tip? Things young black men do in the neighborhood. I don't know what young black men do in the neighborhood. So what is Try it? to survive and stay away from the police. Did you do anything else besides trying to survive and stay away from the police? Yeah, get locked up. Remember or do you not remember? I told you already. I don't remember. You keep asking me. So if you don't remember, just say you do not remember. I object. Your Honor, I'll ask. Oh, I'll sustain the question. I'll sustain the re- that you. Your Honor, and I'll ask. You can instruct Mr. Copeland if he does not remember, just to say he does not remember. Mr. Copeland, just answer the question to the best of your ability, okay? I thought I did, Judge. You're, you're... I told her I don't remember no conversation I had with she trying to cross me up. She trying to say this and that when I, I don't told her. I don't, I don't told the police anything they wanted to hear for them to do. And she keep asking me over and over. <laughs> you don't have to answer the question, sir, okay? About how old were you all when you took this picture? I don't know. Do you have hair on your head when you take the picture? What you when trying to you took the picture? He told what you trying to say. It looked like I got hair on my head. Okay. How long ago have you been bald? <laughs> he ready to cook her. He ready to fry. He ready.
ready to fry him. Like, it's hurting him so bad. He can't say it, boy. It's hurting him so bad. He can't say what he want to say. Wow, I already know. I can see it in his face, but he fighting it. He fighting it so hard, bro. Oh, my. <laughs> I got a so this is before you went into prison. It's an old kitchen. And that's what I need to know. Thank you very much. When you are addressing or talking about them, how do you distinguish the two little D's from each other? What you mean? Do you call one of them little D from Cleveland? If you ask me, if you ask me which little D I'm talking about. And that's what I'm asking you. When you are but talking you should about ask me that. Mr. Copeland. <laughs> <laughs> Don't remember what happened to your because at that point, you had put too much pressure on me and, oh you know what I mean? You recall something? Well, I thought that. this was going to be this funny. I guess I don't, I don't, I don't remember what I said, Tom. Do you recall Because at that point, you had put too much pressure on me and, you know what I mean? I'm just thinking, because he told me, I remember him saying he want that gun. That's all I remember him kept saying, he want that gun. And when you say putting pressure, what do you mean? Same thing you're doing to me now, you keep putting pressure on me. <laughs> you see in the courtroom today? Hey, man! What are you snapping? What are you snapping? What are you snapping? Man, I got a bitch problem. Okay. I can't see that for Alright, so if you want to stand up and look around the courtroom and tell look around the entire courtroom, tell me if you see Shannon in the courtroom today. <laughs> I don't know what he say though. Oh yeah, like Nah, I can light like it. I ain't had any drink. Do you want some water? You gonna give me a drink? I get some water. I don't drink water. Well, I don't have nothing else for you. <laughs> I'm gonna put some water up there for you. <laughs> <laughs> you know, know how you stay professional in this moment for real like i got like a white lady right there she been wanting to laugh this whole time i don't know how you don't sit here and laugh bro this is comedy <laughs> i think i see him okay when you say you think you can have a seat when you say you think you see him what do you think he's wearing Look like he's wearing gray over there. So who are you pointing to over there that's wearing gray? I think lady got red hair. Okay, so you pointing to a lady and not Shannon? No, the one behind her. Okay, so you just said you believe that the person behind the lady with the red hair is Shannon. Is that what you're saying today? Well, it looked like her. Okay, does anybody else over there look like Shannon? Yeah. Okay, who's the other person who looks like Shannon? Bro, look at all that. Like, bro, all the black people know where he are. They want to laugh so bad. It's like Thug want to laugh, but it's like he just, it's too serious for him. I ain't going to lie. He's standing behind the bow head dude right there. He's standing or he's sitting? His lawyer laughing. I see now, I guess. Okay. What's his hairstyle? Bow head. So you saying Shannon's on with the bow head? Or he sitting no, behind he's sitting behind dude with the bow head. <laughs> Dreads. Okay. And again, are you the only person sitting in that interview room when you met when outside of investigator Gaither and Gate? Excuse me. Outside of investigator Gaither and investigator Dennis. Unless you don't count the ghost that's seen that with me. Okay. Um <laughs> you all permission for approach? Mm -hmm. Hey Judge. Sir. Sure. I'm hot. Can I take this sweat off? Do you remember telling Detective Gaither in the January 28th interview that Thug said, nigga, I don't care about none of it. What, look what y'all got going on. You still shot at me. Just pay for my window. You gonna pay for my window. Hey, man, I ain't letting that go. Yes. Yes, you remember Thug saying that? Thug said it. Are you saying... 
Yes, that's what you told Detective Gaither. I know I know I know I ain't complete school, but I I think I'm speaking proper English. I told you, I don't recall nothing <laughs> that I said to no police. You keep sitting right here asking me the same question over and over and over and over and over. I'm tired of it. I'm drained. Okay. Well, if you just answer the questions properly. I am answering the question. You asked me, I said yes, yes. When I'm I drained. You asked me the same question over and over and over and over and over. But you, did you just tell the court or the jury that you're saying yes just to move the process along? I think I said it loud and clear. <laughs> So again, will you just answer the question and then we can move the process along? You keep asking, okay, yes. Is that, what are you answering yes to? Your question. <laughs> Good morning, Mr. Coleman. Good morning. Do you have permission to approach? No. She's asking me that, Mr. Copeland, okay? All right. Okay. Um, counsels, you... <laughs> Do you recall at all talking to this detective about what happened that Monday night at Club Crucial with you and Kel? The, the fight between you and Kel? Uh, I don't recall nothing specific that me and him talk about outside of the shooting with my child. <clears throat> and I barely remember some of this stuff. You, you talking about some years ago... When I don't even know what I did for three, four days ago. Yes. Yes, you remember telling Detective Gaither that? I don't remember what I don't told the police. Let me ask you this. Are you just saying yes now to speed up your questioning? Well, definitely. Okay. <laughs> about questions that I was supposed to be asked. Back then, that I, if I say something, you're going to say, oh, I might impeach him or whatever you, whatever the word is you use. When I don't know, I can't, I can't answer that. Okay. Do you recall telling your girlfriend when it was just the two and of Pete you? Is crazy. I did when he jumped out the car. I know exactly who I saw. I don't, I don't, at that point, it was so much pressure on me. Yeah, I'm, 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 you know I mean, I'm a daughter of crime, trying to take her to the hospital. Uh, Somebody pull up on me soon. I, I, I'm trying to figure out what made me have a gun to go to the hospital. It's all type of stuff going through my mind. I don't know. I, too much is going on. Yeah, I can't because she keep asking me these questions and. <sighs> Mr. Coleman, just take a breath, okay? We do need to take down your testimony, so you do need to speak a little slower, all right? Oh my God. Okay? All right. All right. <laughs> It was some investigator right there talking to me, but when he looked and seen who I was, he called somebody, then they went to jumping out the sky, coming out the bushes, every which way, they questioned me right there. I don't know who it was they questioned me. Earlier, I asked you about whether you were concerned about being labeled a snitch. Do you recall telling Detective Copeland? Detective who? I mean, excuse me, Detective Copeland. Detective Curry. Now I'm a detective. <laughs> <laughs> Well, my boy Gaslighting Skills is on a billion, bro. It is on a billion. It is on a billion. He said, who? It's like it's falling right into his lap. He said, oh, now I'm a detective. He funny, bro. Labeled a snitch. Do you recall telling Detective Copeland? Detective who? I mean, excuse me, Detective Copeland. Detective Curry. Now I'm a detective. Oh, was it? I made a mistake. Do you recall telling Detective Gaither <laughs> and Detective Dennis that she was present at the pool party um, that occurred prior to um, prior to the shooting on the highway? Uh, I don't know, I guess. Do you remember or do you not remember? I don't recall. What I'm trying to tell you is our conversation was about something that I said in the past. I understand. I'm asking you. Ask that Mr. Copeland allowed to finish this. Okay. All right. Well, I thought he was Mr. Copeland, you need to finish your answers. No, I need a break, John. Say again? I need a break. But I had to I'm here today, bro. I did not know he was being this funny in that courtroom, bro. Not this funny. I ain't know it was this funny. I ain't even gonna lie, man. This ever some more. 
that I need to react to. So y'all let me know in the comments. Let me know and we will come back. I ain't gonna lie. This was hilarious, but I did not expect to laugh like this. I'm not gonna lie to you. All right, I'm a fault with you. So I thought I was done, but just getting started. Jump off and finish. Gotta keep a ride up in the shot and I ain't talking Dennis. And I'm asking by if anybody trying to...